Healthier Together. Sponsored by Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oregon. At some point in our life, we will all either be a caregiver or be someone that's been taken care of. The number of Americans providing unpaid care has increased over the past five years. Research from AARP shows one in five adults, 53 million Americans, are now unpaid family caregivers. That's doing everything from grocery shopping and medication management to round the clock care. November is Family Caregiver Month, and in this week's Healthier Together, we're taking a closer look at the impact. Uh, the caregivers are often forgotten, um, not noticed, overstressed. Often they don't have many lifelines, and so they're so busy in the moment that they can't really advocate for themselves. Mara Horton is a consultant and advocate. She was the caregiver to her husband, who was diagnosed with Parkinson's at an early age. He, by trade, was a career college football coach. And they're not generally used to losing um, some of the independences, especially with their physicality. One day, he found himself trapped in a locker room, unable to get dressed. A player by the name of Russell Wilson saw him struggling to get dressed and uh, went over, helped him get um, get dressed to catch a team plane to get, to get home on time. Um, my husband came home and told me he had a hard day and told me a little bit about that story. and. I knew this, this was the prefaces of him losing some things that we all take for granted. She designed magnetized technology inside clothing to help people with limited mobility and dexterity. And that mission to help others has turned into advocacy for caregivers and those they're caring for. So after my husband passed away, I thought it was very important for me to start advocating for those who cannot at that current time, you know, voice what their needs are or try to find resources. According to a 2020 report, 21% of family caregivers say their own health is fair to poor. 45% have at least one financial impact. Well, no one thing can fully take away the weight of caring for a loved one. The Caregiver Action Network has 10 key tips. First, seek support from other caregivers. You are not alone. Take care of your own health so that you can be strong enough to take care of your loved one accept help and suggest specific things that people can do to help you. Learn how to communicate effectively with doctors. Be open to new technologies that can help you care for your loved one. Watch out for signs of depression and get help when you need it. Caregiving is hard, so take breaks often. Organize medical information so it's up to date and easy to find. Make sure legal documents are in order. And finally, give yourself credit for doing the best that you can in one of the toughest jobs there is. Because it does take a village when you are caregiving. Um, sometimes we just need kindness as well and patience. It can go all the way from technology to kindness. So it's a wide array of what the needs are. Horton encourages caregivers to look at smart home technology as a helpful tool, from turning on the lights to setting medication reminders. There are many fantastic local resources where family caregivers can find support and even free medical equipment. There's the Multnomah County Aging, Disability and Veterans Services, MS Society of Portland, ALS Association of Oregon and Southwest Washington, and our local chapter of the Alzheimer's Association. The Jewish Federation of Greater Portland and the Caring Closet nonprofit in Southwest Washington also provide free medical equipment and rentals. And find links for more information on these local resources at kgw.com slash healthier together.